The saponification of triacyl glycerol is a super fancy way of just saying soap making, making soap. In this video, I'm going to talk about the chemical reaction involved in the soap making process. So if you've made soap before or if you're familiar with the process, you know that there are two key fundamental ingredients. One of them is some sort of fat or oil. You could use like a coconut oil or a vegetable oil, or you could use an animal lard, something like that. This fat or oil is a triacyl glycerol. Triacyl glycerol is a scientific way of just saying fat or oil, either one. The other ingredient that we use in soap making is commonly referred to as lye. In chemistry, we refer to that molecule as sodium hydroxide. It's a very strong base. And specifically, if you're you know, thinking in terms of a balanced chemical equation, you need three molecules of sodium hydroxide for every one molecule of fat or oil. This reaction is usually done in water. Water is an important component. We'll write water underneath the reaction arrow just to say that we know that there's some water present. And then, you know, if you're making fancy soap, there's some other ingredients that you put in as well to make it smell nice, maybe make it look pretty. But these are really the two fundamental components of making soap. Now, in this soap making saponification process, the triacyl glycerol molecule gets split apart into three or four, sorry, four separate pieces. The splitting apart of the triacyl glycerol molecule takes place right here at this position, that carbon oxygen bond. And so what I'm going to do is just actually pull these molecules apart from each other, just like this, just to kind of show how they're all being separated. I took, took the oxygen with me that time. So we end up with four different components. This component right here, these three carbon atoms with the oxygen atoms in this reaction, they end up getting an extra hydrogen atom put on them on the end. This is a molecule called glycerol. This glycerol molecule is a type of alcohol. Um, sometimes this glycerol molecule is collected during the soap making process as a byproduct. It has some interesting applications, so some soap makers like to save this and reuse it in other purposes. The other portion of the molecule, the three other portions of the molecule, they are all going to get an oxygen atom added to the carbon atom, just like that. And that oxygen atom is gonna be charged. It's gonna have a negative charge on it. I'm gonna put a little circle around these negative charges just so that we don't confuse them as a bond. And then in addition to that, each one of these has a sodium cation. So I'm gonna make a little Na plus. And that sodium cation is just hanging around that negatively charged oxygen, a sodium cation coming from this reagent right here. These molecules right here are what we refer to as soaps. So this is the actual soap. These soap molecules work, their effectiveness is because this portion of the molecule, because it is charged, is ionic and it's soluble in water. This portion of the molecule, the little letter R over here, represents a very long carbon chain. Sometimes we call it a tail. And this long carbon tail hanging off the end of these molecules is attracted to grease and oils and dirt and grime and things like that. So these soap molecules get attracted to the dirt out here on this side, and then they get drugged down into the water from this little negatively charged side. This effectively works to just kind of pull all the dirt and the grime and the oils away from whatever it is that you're cleaning. Now, one variation that you can make in the soap making process is to use KOH instead of NaOH. If you do that, then over here, you're gonna have K plus ions instead of Na plus ions. Soap that is made with the K plus potassium ion tends to be a little bit softer or sometimes even a liquid, or the sodium ion is more likely to make hard soap. Another thing that you can do to make a, a softer soap or a liquid soap is to use a triacyl glycerol with carbon tails, with the little tails out here, that are polyunsaturated. Lots and lots of double bonds on them. So let's make a note of that. A hard soap is going to be usually made from NaOH. A soft soap is usually going to be made from KOH. And the hard soap is going to be made from fats or oils that tend to be solids at room temperature. So solid 
saturated triacylglycerol, I'm going to abbreviate TAG. And the KOH uh, soft soap, that's going to come from a liquid, like if you wanted to use an oil, unsaturated, poly unsaturated, many means we want many levels of unsaturation, many double bonds, triacylglycerol.